Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Talk Virgin to Me. I am Samantha with Fabulous Adventures Travel Company, and I have brought back the Kelly Roma. Hello, Samantha. Kelly, why are you here today? I'm here to talk about my <laughs> solo experience. Which was her all-time favorite way to travel. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> It definitely was not. Because guess what? I'm the best shipmate ever. She That's is. why it's not her favorite way to travel. She is, and I can say that. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> so, actually, I do not to give that any sort of, like, bad vibe uh, sailing solo. Because I do want to say this. If you are sailing solo, this is probably, and I shouldn't say probably, is the best cruise line to sail solo. So when Kelly gives it, you know, any sort of, like, meh, it's because she doesn't love to sail solo, not because this is not the cruise line to sail solo. So know that when you're listening to this, if we're saying anything like negative or just joking about it, it's not because the cruise line does a bad job at sailing solo. It's because it's not Kelly's thing. Now, Kelly, would I ever be allowed to sail solo? I don't believe so. So they're never going to get my <laughs> review on sailing solo ever. <laughs> so we're just going to go with Kelly's. <laughs> so anyways, so please know... 100%, 1,000%, all the above, everything. I think that this cruise line is great for solo sailors, right? I agree. I mean, we have a lot of solo yeah. sailors as clients, and they keep coming back to us. Yes. So it's definitely a great cruise line if you like to sail solo. Yeah. And let's talk about the evolution of the solo sailor, honestly. So when we first started out and we had solo sailors, there wasn't a lot of things – around for them so it was basically like I uh, just mingle yourself and figure it out but now there's a plethora of things for them to do like they've dedicated almost a here's here's the non-solo sailor you know itinerary and here's the solo sailor itinerary right don't yeah, you think yeah so when when I s sailed mm -hmm. by myself um, there was a, a letter in my room that said hey we see you might be alone because Listen, I just sailed by myself last week, but mm -hmm. I was on board with Samantha and Dave. So they were in their own room. I had my own room, so they didn't know I had people on board. So I got the same letter. And the letter basically says, we see you're solo. We've set up this dinner for solo sailors at Razzle Dazzle on the first night at, you know, 630, whatever the time was. And it, join us or not. Like, you have a spot mm -hmm. at the table they probably know how many solo sailors are on board and they just, yeah. you know, a lot for that amount of people. And cool. um, so I actually did go uh, to that dinner the first night. Yeah. but Which is a good thing that you went because really what I kept telling Kelly is research. Yes. All the research. This is definitely a research cruise. I, I went solo because Samantha was in Europe at the time yeah. and um, I, needed favorite to get on, yes, I needed to get on board um, for work purposes. So I decided to just hop on by myself and it was a four night sailing. So it was, you know, super yeah. easy. Super easy. Um, but to backtrack a tiny bit. Yes, please go for it. So on the first night, there is um, a solo sailor gathering I don't know exactly what it's called at the moment. We're going to call it the Solo Sailor Gathering. And <laughs> mine happened to be at the social club. I think it's in the athletic club, but maybe the weather wasn't great that day. I don't remember why it was in the um, social club, but they lined us up by our names. So we had to start asking people what their name was and you had to filter yourself in. So they played a little game. We did. Like you do in like, you know. Kindergarten. Kindergarten, yes. middle school, elementary school. Yes. So they lined us up by name. So we, ha I had to fit myself in between, you know, Kathy and Kristen. Laura or you know, whoever. <laughs> Kathy and Kristen. Yeah. Um, so that got you talking to people. And what's and your name? people's names. Yeah. So you move down cute. the line. Um, I love that. And then they actually, it was held by one of the Happenings cast, and I can't remember who it is at the moment, um, but this was back in May, so I don't yeah. remember who it was. Um, and then she would go down the list and or down, down the line, and you had to say your name, and oh, there was three questions she asked. I can't remember the second one. The third one was, what do you want to do? do most while you're on the ship mine was sleep 
because I was by myself and I thought, I'm going to sleep sleep in and I'm going to go to bed (laughs) early and I'm just going to take this time to just relax. And And then it didn't really happen. No. Um, That ship is not. uh, It's not. Even when you're by yourself, which there's always something to do. You want to do something. Yeah. Super crazy. So after that um, gathering, everyone walked together to the sail away. Um, I actually ducked back in to go to my room because I had to do something, call somebody. I can't Probably remember. Work, I'm yeah, sure. sure. Um, and then I ended up going to dinner after. So they went to the sail away party. I ended up going to the sail away party because I think I recorded it or filmed it or something. But and then we went to dinner. And then, um, yeah, I met some people. I sat across from you know somebody sat next to somebody that you know every day ended up seeing on the ship hey you know how are you how's it going so did the party make you feel at ease for being a solo sailor it did I, I would say so yeah um i was not there to mingle and meet people though well that's true yeah definitely i can so understand i that. think i had a different take on yeah. eating dinner with these people and then they went off and did something yeah. they did the grog walk or they and i didn't do the grog walk that night yeah. which is a great thing to do if you're solo as well because you'll meet other people. Yeah, I agree. But I did not because my goal was not to make friends with people on the ship to hang out with the whole time. Yeah. I was. We weren't there to party, so yeah. I so was definitely. not. And I wasn't there to meet yeah. people. I wasn't there to, you know, hook up with anybody, yeah. which, you know, some people are there for. Um, so that was, you know, interesting for me. Yeah. Um, I think that's cool, though. I do love the fact that they have that party. Or not party that um dinner yeah and that gathering so that people can meet people and it's not just like the social where you're like hey come to this party and now everyone stands you know stands against the wall right and they're like who's that person over there yeah <laughs> you so, know what i mean you yeah. picture this in your head like who do i talk to so i think that they did a really good job with that because like we said the evolution of the solo sailor with virgin is that was not the beginning so in the beginning there was really nothing there was like a couple things and people started sending things in saying hey you really need to do something for solo sailors because you know we need something and they started this and I just think they did a really good job with it and I do think that you then as a solo sailor it seems that because we have a lot of them of Mm -hmm. course they in general what they like to do is join a little bit but then also do their own little thing over here Mm -hmm. so I feel like Virgin does give them that option where it's like here is these couple little things nothing like really huge where you're like oh gosh I gotta do all the things just a couple little things a little sprinkled in there and then they can just do their own thing over here so I think Virgin did an excellent job with that um offering all that to solo sailors because you know it's hard it's hard to get on a ship solo and it's nice too I mean every time we've sailed we've always met someone solo one time we um we're in the grog walk. We met this really nice girl. Oh my God, she was so nice. She hung out with us the whole week on and off. Whenever she'd see us, she'd hang out with us. We had the best time with her. She was super fun. Um, and then, you know, some at the, sometimes at the pool, you'll meet people that you're like, oh, and they're like, I'm solo. I just think it's so great. So I do love, I love solo sailing. Um, if you don't know anything about Virgin Ships, let me just pause in the, in the actual lineup that we're talking about right now, that there are solo rooms. So there are solo cabins that are um, Insider and Sea View. So for one person, meaning you're not paying, you know, the double occupancy, you are paying the solo sailor price. But it is a cabin for one person. I mean, it's tiny, but it's perfect. You get in, have your spot, you have a bathroom, you're not sharing it with anyone. I mean, we're not, you know, in a hostel, youth hostel here. <laughs> so, like, it's it's great. It's perfect. And then, you know, you can get on board and, and meet people and hang out. So then what happened after that? Everyone went to the grog walk. You didn't do that. I you, did not go to the grog walk. You went I, to bed. I did go to bed. I did not make it to the PJ party that night because I was like, oh, I don't want to go by myself. By yourself. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know that I would go. Well, maybe I would. Yeah, I'd <laughs> probably go to the PJ party by myself. I'd be that weird girl dancing in the corner all by herself, just totally feeling no pain, like having a grand old time and being like, why are you all talking to me? I just want to dance by myself in the corner <laughs> to the good music. <laughs> That's probably what would happen. Anyways, sorry. Keep so going. we did. We went to Key West the next day. I did not get off the ship. I actually stayed on and worked all day. Again, I didn't really want to walk around Key West by myself. By yourself, yeah. I couldn't imagine that. Honestly, if you had sent me a picture of you at the bar by yourself, <laughs> I'd 
be devastated. I'd be like, oh my God, there's my lonely friend all by herself Aww. at the bar at our favorite place. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm glad you did not do that because I would have been, I would have felt bad. I would have felt terrible. Yeah. So on this sailing, because I, I did book it literally like two weeks before I went, I had no dining. And my idea was to just sit at the bar because I am, even at home, I'm not a person to go to a restaurant and just sit at a table by myself. It's just not me. It's not my personality. I would sit at a bar by myself. I'd have a drink by myself. I'd sit and eat at a bar by myself. But sitting at a table, it's just not my thing. So my idea was I was going to go to Pink Agave and I was going to go to Extra Virgin because I know those two places have bars. I know that they've served food at the bars because we have Done eaten it before. at the bars. Yes. And so that was my idea getting on board. Well, that didn't happen. I was denied at both places. I so I tried Pink Agave first and they were like, no, we don't let people sit at the bar and eat. And I was like, I've done it before. Yeah. And they were like, no, you're not eating here. So yeah. then I went to Extra Virgin and they said the same thing. And I was I was devastated because yeah. I was looking I forward know, to eating at both that. of those places. And I I didn't get in. So I went to the pizza place one night. Then yeah. one night I went to the galley. And um, ate. What did you eat the galley? Oh, my god. Do you gosh. remember? Because I think it was something different, wasn't it? It wasn't a cheeseburger. No. I think it was like Beef Wellington or something like that. I because I know they have that. Not, maybe not that, that night, but they do have beef Wellington. Yeah, I don't remember what Was it I turkey? Because they've also had turkey oh, it or could pork. Have been. There was one time I had salmon, but I think that was with Anthony. I okay. was on. I do remember you guys went there Yeah, that one night. They do, So they do have special dinners in the galley. They do. Yep. So just so you know, if you are not super hungry, you don't want to have a big meal at one of the restaurants, or you just don't feel like going to one of the restaurants, you just want to be super cash, um, you can go up to the galley, and there is one... I don't want to call it a family style meal, but it's kind of like that, right? I mean, even though Beef Wellington, I don't feel like it's really a family style meal, but (laughs) it's, it's like that. Like it's, you know, yeah, like meat and potatoes and and green beans, you know, that kind of thing. But you can also get burgers and whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, on the sea day, I can't, I worked most of the time. I know I did do the slot tournament because that was my favorite. We have to, (laughs) um, I did not do very well. I did not win. Oh my gosh, we never win no. except for the last time you won. Yes, which was nice. Um, I did also go to the ship show because I figured, hey, that's in the dark. I could sit at a tiny table by myself yeah. in the dark. Yeah. So I went there for one night for dinner because I had no dinner, no dining. So I had to go. Where which was I good. Could was eat. the food the same? I and mean, we haven't it done it forever. Same. Okay, yeah. So we have not done the ship show in forever because the ship show. Did I say yeah. that right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like I was like oh that was not right um we have not done it forever because we didn't love the food but I do think we should give it another try I think so too Uh, the show is awesome I know I love the show please know that I love the show the food I did not love in any way shape or form so maybe we should just go back this time we should we should skip one of those things and go back yes yes (laughs) yes um Yes. I think that was that might have been the second night or the third night because the last night I did end up meeting um, a couple. I went to the um, Deep Blue Extra cocktail party. Oh, the Deep Blue Extra cocktail party has also had an evolution and has grown very much. Yes. And I love it. And it was at On the Rocks and um, I sat at the bar and I had a drink and then I met a couple that was sitting next to me and I told them I was there by myself and I had no dining that night and they're like, you know what? We have a table for three at Extra Virgin just so happens that's how we booked it. Do you want to join us? And I was like, oh, yes. You're like, Evie, it's I'm my there. favorite. I'm going. Yeah. So they that was super nice of them to, you know, let me join them for dinner. Um, so I got to eat at Extra Virgin. Yeah. I love Evie. Well, that's good. I mean, would you do it again? I ask myself this question. I know. It's tough. A lot. Because again, reminder again, if you're listening to the story, in thinking, oh, that sounds horrible. It's it's the it's her personality in terms of like not wanting to sail solo and not wanting to be solo. So know that Virgin does a good job, and if you don't mind that, if that's your thing, you're going to love it. So I'm asking Kelly in terms of her, not because of Virgin. In her sense, would she do it again? I mean, I think I think I would do it again because I spent most of the out time of by myself. Zone. It was definitely yes. out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I will say there was another gathering solo sailor gathering like the second or third night to kind of like get back to the people that you were with the first yeah. night so they do have multiple opportunities to hang out with the solo sailors on board 
So if you're a solo sailor and you want to hang out with other people mm-hmm. on board, then it's a great thing to do. I do think usually after that first night, I mean, you make some of your friends really that first night, especially in the grog walk. Mm-hmm. Like she was saying, she kind of threw that in there just a little bit. So I do want to reiterate that, that if you don't go to the solo sailor gathering, the first one, definitely do the grog walk because that is a great place to meet people, which is where we told you we met our, one of the girls that we ended up hanging out with one of our sailings. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say definitely do that. Those are good, good things to do. Go to the pool. People are always talking in the pool. Any bar, honestly, (laughs) let's be honest. Anywhere. The cool thing, if you've never sailed Virgin, I always say this, people are like, what do you love about it? I said, what I love about it is inhibitions are left at shore first and foremost, and everyone just talks to everybody. So like you'll be, you know, walking down this, the, you know, hallway and someone will be like, oh, I like that dress randomly. Like, oh my gosh, thank you. And you could strike up a conversation. It happens constantly. Or if you're like roll up to the bar and you're like, hey, what are you drinking? They're like, oh, I'm drinking blah, 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 blah. And they'll tell you. And then, you know, now you've already started a conversation and they do the same, like, Obviously, I've already said this before. I can talk to a wall, but people do that to me too. So it's not like it's just me doing it to everybody else around the ship. I'm not the only one being like, hey, what's going on? (laughs) Everyone is doing it. So um, that I think is the coolest part about Virgin. And I think helps a lot with solo sailors, in my opinion, is that inhibitions have been left at shore and, you know, alcohol is flowing and everyone is having a good time. I, I think adults are friendlier when kids are not yes, around too. Yes, I agree that too. And you don't have to worry about your child. Am I, is my child fed? Is my child yeah. upset? Is my Does my child need something to do? Are they bored? Like you're constantly, there's nothing to worry about. So I think adults are just friendlier. I agree. I agree. So that's why I think the solo sailing is just a great um it's just a great thing for someone who sails solo. So, yeah. I, or virgin, I should say. Virgin is a great cruise line for someone who sails solo. Yeah. Um, because I just think that it, they do a good job with it. Yeah. And it helps with the adults only, obviously. Yeah. So. I, I mean, I think I would do it again. I think that maybe I would try to make friends on the first night and see if they wanted to do dinner with me so I didn't have to sit at yeah. a table by myself. You totally could have and should have. That would have been Oh my like, God, you should have had like the Kelly clan. That would have been amazing. <laughs> that would have been Kelly my clan. only change is to try to like, you know, make some friends that wanted to eat dinner and so I didn't have to sit alone. Yeah, that's or what I would Or sit in my done. room and eat pizza by myself, you know. Yeah. I would have totally made friends and like been like, what are you guys doing? Hey. They would have been like, can this girl get away from us? <laughs> when is she going away? <laughs> She's way too much for us. It's time for her to go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, that's cool. Yeah, you totally should. You should do it again as an experiment. We'll see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think I should try and see if I should go solo sailing. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so either i don't think i'm gonna get a yes on that one (laughs) that's gonna be where the foot goes down no (laughs) the hammer no i don't usually get told no very much but this might be the one time i get told no (laughs) babe can i sail solo no 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 (laughs) it wouldn't be it wouldn't be just one no it'd be like 70 (laughs) okay i got it i got it i'm there (laughs) i made it (laughs) well i hope that that um helped anyone that is going to sail solo know that as travel agents we think it's a great great cruise line um know that again i'm gonna reiterate it one more time that kelly didn't think that it was bad for sailing solo she's just not a solo sailor (laughs) and that's just the way it is right true so um and that's okay so yeah, so let us know if you need anything. Let us know if you have any questions. Again, uh, if you're on Facebook, come join us at Virgin Voyages Cruise Tips and Deals. I think we have the best group around. I'm not biased at all in any way, shape, or form. We do have the best deals. So if you are looking for a deal, I've never actually said this on here. Um, if you are looking for a deal, contact Fabulous Adventures Travel Company because we do have the best deals around. We always actually offer the onboard booking offer, which is $300 off, $700 in sale loot. So um, if you're a newbie and you have not sailed before, this is a phenomenal deal that we offer our clients. So um, yeah, contact us. But And sail solo, right? Yes, sail solo. Because it's awesome. You know, actually, speaking of that, I know it's just ending it, but I was going to say this really quickly. Virgin was doing, speaking of the evolution of the solo sailor, they were doing um, the half off uh, sea terrace, but that has since uh, stopped now that they're really filling up the uh, Caribbean. So 
that is a question we get asked constantly. Do you think that'll come back, the no solo supplement? I hope it does. I hope it does. But what I've been, be- I've been saying this forever, that one of the things I've been begging for from Virgin is to at least keep 20 sea terraces available for solo sailors because, you know, once they sell out, they sell out. That's it. End of story. Fine. Um, because I do think that it's a nice uh, thing for them to have and a nice option that you have Insider, Sea View, and then Sea Terrace. I agree. And while it's not a true solo room, it still just gives them, you know, solo seas- uh, solo sailors that option to do the Sea Terrace. And when it's sold out, it's sold out. No yeah, more. That'd be awesome. So that's my um, goal. And if you ever see that happen, <laughs> you can thank me. <laughs> Because I'm like the biggest advocate for it. I don't know why. I just feel like it should be there. <laughs> it's so weird. Things that I think about. Anyways, so now we're going back to leaving. I swear we're leaving this time. So we will um, see you soon. And thanks for joining us. And we're going to leave you with our favorite phrase. <gasps> you, you float, float our, our boat. boat. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye.